holy man, Sri Satya Sai Baba, and Al Drucker. Soul Journeys pauses to remember one of Sai Baba's most ardent followers. On February 20th, 2016, Al Drucker left this world, a world he did not believe was real. And the nearly 90-year-old body he left behind was something else Al Drucker did not believe was real. He would say to many dozens of times, only God is real. What follows are some of Al's other most profound declarations, as recorded by Soul Journeys. Excerpts from many Soul Journeys interviews that can be found, along with many of Al's most memorable Sai Baba stories, on our website. Soljourns.net. You're in a dream of awakening, and it's just minutes, maybe even just seconds from midnight. It's all going to be over very quickly. There's nothing here for you, nothing here at all. There's nothing of any value here at all. And when he asked me what's happening, and I said, hey, Swami, they're saying I'm a CIA agent, he said, you are CIA. You are CIA. I said, no, Swami, I have nothing to do with the CIA. Yes, you do. You are CIA. You are constant, integrated awareness. You are pure awareness. You are constant, ever unchanging, and you are totally integrated and included in me. I mean, Swami is totally internalized. Mm. I don't know the difference between me and Swami. I can say that directly. I don't know the difference. I know who I am, and I am Swami. And Baba said, take namaskar. So that, of course, is what I asked for in the telegram. You know, I want to yeah. put my head on it. And then he said, why do you fear when I am here? I said, Swami, it was cancer. He said, cancer canceled. And fear of death left me permanently in the late 70s. All my Baba stories are long stories because that's the nature of, of how Swami works. You know? No visa. Uh, and he says, you can't come into India. You don't have a, a current visa. I said, I have to come. Uh, Sai Baba is calling for me. He said, Sai Baba knows you? <laughs> But of course, the visa was no longer <laughs> up to date, but he just <laughs> go. One of the first times I ever had a chance to speak to Swami, I said, Swami, what about all these missiles? What about these nuclear weapons? Mm -hmm. Because I was very concerned about it. I was involved with it. Sure. Uh, and, uh, and Swami said, the world is not your business, sir. Mm -hmm. And then he said, uh, but I kept pressing uh, him with about these nuclear weapons. He said, I will never allow an atom bomb, he spoke of it that way, I will never allow an atom bomb to be used in anger. Mm -hmm. I will not allow it. And I knew he had the power to make that statement. Yeah. Baba says this is a dream. The Course in Miracles says this is an illusion. How are we to know what our home is, what is real? Trust in Swami. If Swami calls when Swami speaks, when he starts a discourse, he doesn't say, um, my dear merchants and housewives, he calls you Divyatma Swarupalara, he calls you Prema Swarupalara. He says you are the very embodiment of the divine love, of the divine Atma. Who are you going to believe? Your little experiences, your little mind, your little uh, voice that tells you I'm just this little insignificant one in a world that's impacting on me? Or are you going to believe Swami? She says she's the um, IT and T uh, uh, operator that I have a, a telegram. I said, where is it from? She says, I can't pronounce these long Indian names, but I'll spell it out for you. And she spells out Pushanti Nilium. I said, really? Who's it from? Well, it's signed Baby. <laughs> Baby. And it's, it's just a few words. It says, 
come immediately, come to the one who loves you as none other, signed baby. And she says, wow, you must have a, 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 a sweetie over there that really loves you. <laughs> Al Drucker's sweetie over there, as in India, not baby, Baba, as in Sri Satya Sai Baba. At some point along the way, I hadn't thought of God for 25 years at that uh, uh, point. Physicist Al Drucker was piloting a small plane in a blizzard over the mountains, his fuel tank showing empty. Uh, I suddenly turned to God, God, if you're <laughs> anywhere around, please help. I don't want to die. Al Drucker is 88 years old, but decades ago, as a young man in danger of losing his life, Indian holy man Sri Satya Sai Baba saved Drucker's life, even before Drucker had ever met Sai Baba. This fellow, the first thing he said is, boy, you can thank God that you're alive, <laughs> because there is no way you could have survived through that storm. Uh, he said, how did you get here? How did you find us? I said, well, there was a ground controller that uh, uh, brought me into this field. He said, ground controller? There are no ground controllers <laughs> anywhere near here. Drucker says the soothing, gentle, guiding voice saving him from disaster was Sai Baba. A young man came up to me. He said, um, excuse me, sir, is your name Drucker? I said, yes. How do you know me? He said, well, I've been sent by Swami. Swami uh, has uh, told me to ask you to kindly write up your aircraft story, oh, oh, how Swami goodness. saved your life. Who is Sai Baba? You cannot answer that question. It's not answerable. And wh who would hear it? The mind will hear it. A mind can never reach that place. It's not within the capacity of the mind to know who Sai Baba is or to know who you are or for me to know who I am. He says, this is an ordinary body. This body was born, this body will die. I said, no, it's a, a, a Swami, yours is a holy body. It's, he said, not holy body, ordinary body. Bodies are born, bodies will die. He said, but has come with a, a very important message. That is what um, uh, Baba is about. And then he sort of hits me on the chest. I don't want to go ahead. do it on your microphone here. And he said, this drunker body, you know, he calls me drunker, this uh, uh, drunker body is not important. It, it will also die. Not important. The Atma is what is important. Think only of Atma. And ten days earlier, Swami uh, had spoken to me and said, uh, you give the Christmas talk. I mean, I said, Swami, I don't know anything about Jesus. I'm not a Christian. What are you? I said, well, Swami, I was brought up uh, in the Jewish tradition. He says, Jesus was 100% Jew, pucker Jew. He said, you talk on Jesus. I'm always aware of the dream. That's why I love movies. I, I'm, I'm aware that I'm watching a movie, but at the same time, I, I, I have passion and I have an emotional response to everything that goes on, but I realize that it's all just a, a, a movie, at, and, and, the, and that's a stage. And there's a further stage in which you're not the actor because you don't exist anymore. You never existed. All that exists is Satchitananda. Being never becomes anything. It doesn't take another form. How there is no Sai Baba as, a, uh, as some kind of a specialized being. He says, don't follow this form. Forget the world. Remember God. Never fear death. I mean, that's Swami's one of Swami's many mantras. Swami said, stay? How long would you stay? <laughs> I could even stay till, till Christmas. Oh, so long? What would you do? Swami, I can teach physical education. He said, very, very good. And he calls over the principal of the college and he says, new physics teacher. Not physics, physical. <laughs> he said, no, physics, you teach physics. But as a physicist, you could certainly teach physics. I but I hadn't touched boy. physics for 25 years. From high atop his perch over Florida's Emerald Coast, Al Drucker, for many years, a high-ranking foot soldier for Indian holy man, Sri Satya Sai Baba. 
Al and Yanni Drucker favor this enthralling part of the world during the winter months. And as illusions go, who can beat it? But Al's principal endeavor being, not becoming, Atma, the higher self. Uh, whether it's dream or whether it's, uh, it's your waking state, everything is these five things. Sat, Chit, Ananda, Nama, and Rupa. Sat, Chit, Ananda are eternal. They are the divinity. Okay? Sat is pure being. He said, you're so busy trying to learn things, but being gets lost in becoming. Mm -hmm. Don't go running after becoming. Just be. Just be. Aham. That is the uh, the truth of your being is just that I am. You know, it's also in the Bible, you know, when Moses runs across the uh, burning bush, he asks, who are you? And uh, what he gets back is, uh, in Hebrew, I happen to know it is, yea, I yea. I am which am, <laughs> you know. That didn't mean anything to Moses. So he said, well, I'm the, 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 the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, but uh, in fact, who I am is that I am. <laughs> uh, that's Sanchitananda. It's pure being. Chit is pure consciousness, has all knowledge within it, and it is Ananda. It is pure uh, delight. It is pure uh, happiness, pure love. Love is uh, can also be uh, interpreted as Ananda. Mm -hmm. That's what it, what all there is. Okay, this is, these never change, and therefore they are truth. Nama and Rupa is subject to time and space. They change. They simply clothes you put on, on to Satchitananda. You are the Satchitananda, uh, and then you you have a Nama and Rupa. World. What we define as world is Nama and Rupa without reference to Satchitananda, what it's made of. Mm -hmm. It's like talking of, uh, about a wave without talking about water or, or the ocean, you know, as if it could be separated out. But it can't be separated out. But nevertheless, that's uh, what the ego thought system does. It's, it looks at a bush and it calls it a bush. It uh, looks at this guy and he calls him Ted. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's, uh, you make no reference to it's, it, it looks at a movie without being aware of the screen, mm -hmm. you know, uh, of that which doesn't change. And so that world is illusory, it's, it's false. That's the denial of the truth, when you deny the Satchitananda. But when you see, when you realize uh, the Atma, when you realize that you are the Satchitananda, and when you have that in your direct uh, experience, then it doesn't matter what the Nama and Rupa is. You don't have to get rid of the Nama and Rupa. You don't have to get rid of any of these uh, individualistic or some seemingly autonomous uh, characteristics you have because, uh, or that others have, or the dream, you know. The dream isn't any trouble. As long as you, um, as, as long as you're lucid in that dream, recognizing that it is all based on pure consciousness or on God uh, or on, on the divine. So that's, uh, that's what he was basically teaching. A few words about Al now as you see photos of his many interactions with Sai Baba. In 2015, Al Drucker turned 88. As a child, he came to America with his family fleeing Nazi Germany. As an adult, he worked as a physicist and became a specialist in air-to-air -air and intercontinental missile guidance systems. He later became expert in America's ballistic missile programs. Well, eventually Al was led to rethink his working role in society, after which he shifted his focus to more humanitarian pursuits and to Sai Baba. It was during Al's spiritual immersion of the past 40 years that he made over 25 trips to be with Sai Baba from America to India. 
Eventually, he stayed in India for nine years in pursuit of spiritual awareness. All the while, he was given remarkable access to Sai Baba. He taught at Sai Baba's ashram and had many personal experiences through Sai Baba. And while living at Sai Baba's ashram, Al also reverted to some of his earlier interests by teaching classes and lecturing on astrophysics and aerospace topics at Sai Baba's university as a visiting professor. The cornerstone of Drucker's adult life has been in seeing how everything in life is intended to help point one in the direction of discovering the Atma, our true self, to awaken to our one and true identity. With Al Drucker's permission, Soldiers begins this new intermittent series, what Al Drucker calls his opus, one of his most important works. It is a new account written just this year called A Theory of Everything or Nothing. Due to its length, we present it here in three parts, beginning with part one. And we also present the full text of this story, also in three parts, posted on our Soldiers website which you can access at soldiers.net.